uh, being able to go out into the community and hear what the community wants and then take those ideas back as actions to the village board so that we can get people what they need and you know what they want to have here in the village. Probably my mother, uh, she passed a few years ago from cancer, but uh, she really, she raised me. She was a single parent and uh, just you know, taught me that I could do whatever it is that I really set my mind to, which is incredibly cliche, but it's true. Uh, you don't, if you don't succeed the first time, just keep going at it until you get to where, you know, you're happy with your results. And that's something that I lived with my whole life. Uh, my favorite community event would probably be, it's probably cliche, but WanaFest. Uh, I, I grew up in an area that had a big kind of county fair, and that really reminds me of uh, that whole county fair atmosphere. You got the parade, and then you have the area where you have like attractions, then you have the, the local community organizations that come together and they run all the, you know, the booths and tents uh, at the event. So it's just really cool. It takes me back to my childhood. Probably pizza. But it would have to be like good pizza, not, you know, like I'm very particular about it since I grew up on the East Coast, but, uh, so no Chicago style, sorry, that's, that's casserole to me, it's not pizza. Uh, I would definitely say, and this is a, it, this is just a blatant plug, uh, the Ask Anything Wanaki tool, uh, I think it's really great, I, I direct people towards it all the time when they see issues in the village, or something, you know, I've used it before, my daughter uh, found a hive of hornets at a playground once and used the tool and then, you know, hive was gone pretty quickly after that, so it's a really fast way if you have an issue to get something taken care of. <laughs> my least favorite job is I once was an intern at a cell phone company helping them in their billing department and it was just working on the same spreadsheet every day for three straight months and I really, by the end of it, realized that I never wanted to be an accountant or work in billing, so. There's a few of them actually, but uh, I was really happy to be involved with uh, bringing chickens to the village. Uh, people have been asking for chickens for a long time. Um, and not to say that one is better than the other, but another thing that I was really happy to be involved in was uh, bringing accessory dwelling units to the village. Uh, I've always heard from people they, you know, they'd love to have parents that could age in place with them, or that they would, you know, like make a few extra dollars off of their land by having additional units. So I just thought it was great that we were able to bring that to the village. I am unfortunately a white kid who grew up in the suburbs from the 90s, so like I still listen to a lot of like rap. Like I, I'm ashamed to say, but like I have Eminem is probably my top played artist. Uh, the really the starting point, and I know it's a little boring, but uh, watch some of the meetings, see how it works, uh, and what goes on at the meetings. Uh, if you have a topic that you know is your passion, uh, you know really go in on that one and. You know, research it further and work with the village. The staff are really great to work with when you have an idea and then uh, you know see where that goes from there. In this household it would probably be uh, ice cream because uh, between myself and my wife and my kid uh, everybody has their own type of ice cream they want and so it's nice we all have our three types that we want so there's always something in there and you can only blame yourself if you run out of the ice cream that you I wanted to be on the village board to help make a difference in the place where I live so that it would be best for the generation that came after me. I'm a huge, ever since I moved to Wisconsin, discovered chocolate shops, Hands of Bar Chocolate has been my go-to. We are a great community with access to services all around us, but we are still very rural, and so if you want to have kind of that city life adjacent place to live, this is where you should be.